For dogs across Manchester, Bank Holiday Monday can mean only one thing. Walkies. And most owners in Heaton Park were keeping them on a tight lead. Back in February, Manchester City Council brought in new dog control orders and anyone letting their dog off the lead on playing fields or in children's play areas could get an £80 fine. But fetching the fines turned out to be a problem. The council hadn't followed the historic procedure of sealing the orders with wax. So 163 penalties issued were unenforceable and the council missed out on £13,000 in fines. Despite the blunder, the dog's home in Harper Hay says other measures relating to strays and unwanted dogs have been more successful. Prior to the change um, in the laws, if somebody came to us with a stray dog, only the police and the local authorities were able to deal with it. We held the dogs on their behalf, but we couldn't actually book them in. So we'd actually have to say, ask the people to contact the council or take a walk up to the local police station and initially log the dog with them. Now we can take the dog straight in and we do all the logging on the council's behalf. This is Giggs and she was brought into the home a little while ago but has now been adopted. And the good news is that the number of strays that are seized and brought here by wardens has dropped. In January to March this year the figure was 30% lower than in January to March the year before. But the home still has to deal with anywhere between 400 and 600 dogs at any one time. Meanwhile, as the council has rectified its error so it can issue fines... Back in Heaton Park, these two young dog walkers were clearly leading by example. Ben Bland, Channel M News.